a fun day. If we look at the thermometer I just put up here, it's warmed up a little bit. It's about 12, 12 degrees, I think. 12, 13 degrees out currently. And the significance of that is, is today I'm going to install a digital thermometer in the back of this warming, in this nest box so I can monitor the temperature. And I'm also going to install a nest box heater I built. Um, I'm going to use it with this doe here because she's going to be kindling here in the next couple weeks. So, so we want to make sure that this box is nice and warm. So, uh, so it's best to, since it's so cold out, I thought I'd come out and put it in and give it a test. So I'll walk you through the steps of what I do today. Okay, I've taken the back off of just half the hutch here. I'm not going to bother the other bunnies today. And so I'm going to remove this door. Okay, I got the back off of the hutch here, the half here. I've taken the door off, and we're going to install the thermometer and also the uh, box warmer. Now, if you paid attention to my video the other day, I put some straw in here, and it looks like the bunny's definitely been using it. Uh, they got a nest made. And I also tried to pound down that crease, and as we can kind of see, it still popped up some. So what I'm probably going to do is going to get some caulk. I'm going to caulk that up. Um, just because I'm sure we'll lose a lot of heat out of that. Just because heat tends to rise. Of course we got this hole here to contend with. But I'm not as worried about that as I am this right now. So um, we'll worry about that later. So uh, I'll sh show you the pieces parts I have and um, oh one other thing usually when I work on these what I like to do is I have some chunks of wood here and I like to block it off that way I don't get in, get disturbed I'm going to have to get a 2 by 4 and kind of jam it in there but uh, you get very inquisitive all right, let's go take a look at the parts. All right, this is uh, basically what we're gonna do today. First, I have the, the door here from the back of the rabbit hutch, and what I did is, on eBay, I bought this thing, which is just a thermometer. Unfortunately, it's only in Celsius. It came from China off eBay for about, I think I cost five bucks shipped or something like that. They're, they're all over the place on eBay. Then what I did is I took a little bit of hardware cloth, cut a piece off, folded it up, and um, attached some twist ties to attach the sensor in the middle. And what I'm going to do is screw that into the back right in this vicinity here probably and have the edge lead right up to here and right out the back. Probably the cord's not that long but I should be able to lay it on top of the hutch and get a good look at it. The wires to deter the rabbits and it should do a pretty good job. Uh, there's a good quarter inch there between the wire and the back and they don't tend to, they don't like chewing on wire anyhow. So that shouldn't be a big deal there. Um, so our, I guess we'll go ahead and uh, get this installed and I'll let, let you see what it looks like when I get done. Okay, that one pretty easy. Pretty, a lot better than I expected it would. So what I did here was I just got a washer, one little speed screw. I tapped the screw to make sure it went through the uh, thicker edge back here. It did come out the back, but I don't really care. You can't really see it anyhow. You put the back on. Um, put out a little bit of an angle here. Routed the wire out through this, this notch, which is there that specific reason and as you can see it's, it says negative dot two right now and I bet that'll keep dropping even more. It's been in the house so it's definitely working. Um, so I'm happy with that. So 
Now let's take a look at the uh, take a look at the S box one I built. Okay, this is it. Now, at first glance, this looks just like a couple sheets of wood and two by fours. Um, and that's basically all it is. And what this is cut out to basically almost I think it's eleven and a half, eleven and a quarter inches across, and about I think it's twelve to fourteen inches back. And that's exactly the dimensions it is from my boxes to basically leave, I believe, a, I think there's about a half, a, a, probably a foot gap on this side. No, probably about a half a foot gap, eight to nine inches here, all the way back. Um, and what I did, is if you open it up here, is we have uh, a light bulb I'm on in here. And that's just a standard 15 watt light bulb. What I'm also going to do before I put this in there is I'm going to put tin foil on the top here as well. And what that does is it kind of helps radiate the heat a little bit better. Uh, wood is more of a, a conduct or an insulator. Um, tin foil would be more of a conductor. So hopefully we can dissipate the heat more evenly by doing that. Um, this is pretty simple setup. I just purchased a fixture from hardware store, uh, 15 watt round ball, uh, screwed it in. This is a heavy duty extension cord that I've been cutting. I had like a hundred foot of that I cut with the lawnmower so I've been recycling and I've just been cutting chunks off as I needed it. That's how I wired the hutch outside as well and I also basically created a uh, cord protector as well. Same concept you've seen with the temperature gauge. Um, and that will route through this notch right here and out to the side here. And then I will just plug that into the front. The heat will radiate through the board. Now I, I will probably pack some kind of pine shavings on top and then some straw. And that essentially was going to be my heater. Uh, we're going to see how warm I can get that hutch by the uh, nest boxes to determine if it's going to work. If not, I can. I have some things I can do. I can add another light bulb, need be. Um, I can. I will probably end up insulating the top of the nest box as well to try to he hold the heat in better, um, as well as caulking off any holes. So uh, we're just going to take this one step at a time and. Um, see where we are with this, so I'll go install it. Okay, we got the warming box in here, and it fits pretty nice. It's a little loose, but I don't think they're going to move it around much. She's had it in here before. Um, she's used it before. She's probably going to love this, because I do know it does warm. Um, I just don't know how much, and that's what we're going to find out. Uh, she's a little mad at me for messing up her straw, but I'll probably put some more back here for her when I'm done. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in and just make sure that bulb's still working before I get it all sealed up. Um, then after that I'll put the floor on, put the, put the uh, backpack on, and then uh, we'll see how it's working. Come and say hi. Keep it in the front. I don't want her messing with the light bulb. So let's go around here. And there's my cord. Go down here real fast. The other bunnies don't want anything to do with this. They're plenty happy sleeping in today. So we're just going to plug it in here. There we go. We have light. So now I'm going to install the floor. I'm going to turn the camera off to do that. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay. The floor is on. And I put some tin foil underneath there as well. 
I can see light coming from the edges, so that means I didn't break the light bulb. So we should be in business. Now another thing I do, is there was a notch, I don't know put the camera here, I don't know if I can see it or not there. And there's this this the wire protector. This is a pretty heavy duty cord as it is. I'm not real worried about chewing them, but uh, this piece of hardware cloth will definitely prevent that. I had this in here for about a week before and she never even touched it. So that should be good. I pushed this down so it's flush with this board. And I have a notch pretty much that you saw in the back piece so that can come out. I'm also routing the thermometer display out that as well. Hopefully I can jimmy it up there. I will see. Oops, if I can see it up there to the front so I can just see it um, from the front when I check on them. Not, I guess it's going to hang back here, but we're trying to make it easy on me before I make it harder. So, I'm going to put the back on and we'll see what it looks like. Okay. I have it installed and it's just sitting back there. I don't know if you can really see it on the camera, but it says negative 3.9 and it is going up. It's So that definitely means we are generating some heat in there. Um, the bunny is certainly enjoying it because, oh, it just moved again, 3.7, so negative 3.7. So I will keep them monitoring this and see how far we can go. So it's negative 3.3 now. And the temperature sitting out here is, oh, probably negative, negative 5, I would say. So, already, we're digging out of the cellar. I'll come back in uh, about, well, probably 20 minutes and see how far we've gone from uh, negative 5. So, stay tuned. All right, it's been quite a few hours now, so I'm going to check what's going on here. This is, uh, it's about 0 degrees or 32 degrees Fahrenheit right now, so it has warmed up quite a bit. So, to look at our box... That says, you probably can't see that, this is about 5 degrees. So, translate that, it's, it's 32 now. Uh, 5 degrees, so that's 5 degrees, yeah, it's around 40, 41 degrees in there. So, it seems like we're getting about 10 degree difference just with a 15 watt light bulb. So that's, uh, you know, that's not too bad, but I'd like to get a little bit warmer. So I'm gonna probably put a, from a 15, I'm gonna put up, actually put a 40 in there and see what happens. That might be a little overkill. If it gets too warm, then I'll just go buy a 25. I don't have any 25, so I'm just gonna try the 40 and see what happens. So, um, we'll see what happens. Okay, I have the back off here, and this is quite interesting. The bunny made a nice little nest, and he's been enjoying, or she has been enjoying this quite a bit. She's got it all nice up here, and she's snuggling right up to the bottom there, and it is pretty, you know, you can a little bit warm there, I'm sure, for her, that would be perfect. This probably might be warm enough. Um, I'm going to try the bigger light bulb, just, just for the heck of it. Uh, like I said, I, I, it's just an experiment. It, I'm not going to try to cook the bunnies, but, you know, we are in the cold, so... Might as well just play around while we still can. Alright, it's been a couple hours since I put the 40 watt light bulb in. And now, the temperature sitting back there says 10.2. Which, if you were to translate to Fahrenheit, would be around 51, 52, 53 degrees. Which is pretty good. Um, the standing temperature right now is about, oh, negative 4 Celsius which is like 28, 29 Fahrenheit. So, you know, it looks like we're getting a nice little jump there. I'll take 30 up to 50 degrees, 20 degree difference. Uh, bunnies definitely should be fine in 50. And if we get lucky and it's warm that day, all should go well. So, let's see what's up here. Nothing. So, that's that.
Um, I'll keep you updated. Uh, probably take this box out after a couple days of testing it out. I don't want to get her too comfortable in here. Um, because I want her to use it for the bunnies, you know, not herself. So.